Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome to your readings for the 16th of January 2024. It's Tuesday the 16th. Let's see what our angels want to tell us for today. I am doing our reading as ever from the original right away. Tarot deck conceived of by A.E. White and designed by Pamela Coleman Smith. As I said yesterday, I am on a mission to see if I can find us some new cards because it would be nice to have some variety in these readings. But for now, the angels want me to do these. They do want me to stick with tarot, so it will be tarot when I go along. And we'll see how we go. So for today, I want to get our energy of the day. And this is what I do. I get there a problem if there is one. There is a problem. So I ask the angels for a card for the problem if there is one. So that's the one they want me to give you. And the solution for that problem. So if you're new here, this is how it works. I literally go through the energy, the problem if there is one, and the solution. Do take what resonates, drop what doesn't, and just go with that. The bigger part of these readings is about the vibration that's connecting into the vibration with me as I channel in the angels. And it doesn't matter what you're doing, even if the reading makes absolutely no sense, the angel energy will be brought to you wherever you are. Okay, let's see what our energy of the day is. <gasps> the sun! Sorry, my mouth was really big because it's like it's such a beautiful card. It's the sun. So the sun is shining down on you today. Today, on um, Tuesday, the 15th of January, the sun is... Oh, you can't... Even, and it got all bright. Did you see that? The light really shone on it. So it got really, really bright. There's going to be a light shone on something for you today. Almost like an illumination, like a full moon would do. Something is going to come to your attention. Something is going to show you something. I don't know what it is, guys, because I can't. Because every single one of you is going to be different. So maybe a problem or something you needed a solution for is going to become brightened. You're going to have an answer around it. Or someone's going to give you a message that explains what it is to you, right? That is very key. Very, very key, okay? Uh, the other thing about it is that it's... Um, what is the sun? I mean, what can I say? It's a beautiful, glorious, warm day. Look, whether it's sunny or not where you are, this isn't a weather forecast. This is about your energy, your vibration, feeling good. Everything that you touch today is going to be good. Everything that you do today is going to be good. Or maybe it's just neutral. But the sun tells me there should not be, or, or could not be, anything negative in your well today. Now, the angels are telling me to say to you, this is about your perception. So make sure your perception's on the line of the sun. Also make sure you're listening out for the message that they want to bring you because there is something being illuminated. They want you to see it. The sun's going to shine down on it and you're going to see it. It's a little bit like, you know, if you're walking along in the street, you're out and something glints on the pavement and you go towards it and you realise it's, I don't know, maybe it's a piece of jewellery like this or maybe it's a coin um, or maybe it's, um, I don't know, maybe it's someone's dropped their money clip or something. It's like that, but you're going to get that illumination. So it's going to shine down to show you what it is. That's really, really gorgeous. Now, let's see if there's a problem. That's an interesting thing because I don't see this as a problem, although it can be okay. Now, the world is your oyster, right? And it, you can have anything. Is this a problem, angels? No, they're saying no, there isn't any problem, actually. No. Really good, actually. That's amazing. No, no problem today. No problem. They're literally saying you have the facets and the capabilities of enacting all the seat suits, all the energy. So you can be enacting the cups. You could be enacting the pentacles, the swords, the, the wands, whatever you need to. The sun's shining down on you to allow you to enact what you need to enact. Now, the reason you've got the world card here, and as I say, it's not a problem. It's just another message. The reason you've got it is that they're saying the world is your oyster. Something's opening up to you. What's opening up to you? Please pay attention. They want to bring you the world. You can have the world. It's only if you're willing to accept it, though. Are you looking? Are you paying attention? Now, if you look here, although she's facing towards the past, she's looking towards the future. She recognises that in order to move forward, she needs to look at what is happening in front of her. She recognises that. She recognises that, that her body needs to look at the message while her mind is understanding that she's here in this neutrality but that she can she has a forward position and somewhere to go the world is your oyster they want me to tell you good things this is a good message nothing in this card reading is ever going to be as heavy as it could be and there's nothing heavy in this anyway because because the sun is here and the sun brightens everything right let's see what the solution is not that it matters about the solution because there isn't one and it's fine because it absolutely makes sense. It's the Knight of Swords. This is not a solution because there is no solution necessary. 
you are raring to go. You're cutting away everything that was in your way. The sun has shone down and explained where you need to go. The world has shown you you can have it. You can have whatever it is you want. And you're raring to go forward to take your space, your space in the world, to go where you need to go. The other thing they're saying to me, yeah, you, you literally are. You're literally charging to the new beginning, to a new space, to a new a new place in this world. And the thing the angels are wanting me to say to you is, because there's no problem here today, the thing that they want you to go forward with is knowing that you need to surrender the old, let go of everything that doesn't serve you, cut it away. Imagine you've got a scythe. Um, you know, they cut the harvest with the scythe they used to use. And cut the things away, the dead would Get rid of the things that are no longer fitting for you. Not necessarily today, but as you go forward in your energy through this month and into February. That is what they're saying to me. That is key. Okay, I want to see if there's anything else they want to give me. Oh, interesting. So the number 21 is highlighted. So that's the two and the one. Something's coming together. They want you to be independent as you move forward in this. Also, there's some kind of celebration attached to this. So maybe it's someone's birthday. It's the 15th someone's birthday. It is for me, actually. Um, but yeah, is it someone's birthday? There's a celebratory element attached to this card as well. And there's some from this energy. Maybe it is your son's birthday. Maybe it is someone who's got that kind of energy, like a nephew or um, a male energy. I'm seeing a male energy. So maybe it's someone's birthday that taps into that as well. And that is the message for you for the 15th of January, 2024. Is there anything else I wanna say? No, that is it, that's the message for you. Everyone have an absolutely lovely, splendid, beautiful day. Do subscribe if you haven't already. There's two subscribes over either side, whichever time you're looking at this. There's also videos for you to check out if you have the time and the inclination. Do check out the angel message for 2024. That will help you as you move forward through this year. Namaste, everyone. Take care of yourselves and have a lovely, lovely Tuesday, the 15th of January, 2024. Big kisses, lots of love. Bye. Bye.